Back with a new study that could usher in a new way to measure body composition and obesity. It's called the Body Roundness Index, and experts say it could replace the long-standing Body Mass Index, which you might know as BMI. Increasingly, the BMI is coming under scrutiny because it doesn't distinguish how much of a person's weight is fat and where it's distributed on the body. NBC News medical contributor Dr. Natalie Azar joins us for more on this. Doctor, good morning. So good morning. tell us, what is the difference between these two things? Is this a better, more accurate? more complex way of doing this. Well, you know what? I think the intro kind of says it all, that there has been so much scrutiny about the BMI for decades because it really just takes two factors into consideration, your height and your weight, and it generates this number and you're either overweight or you're obese and doesn't take into account what is what that weight is actually composed of. So for example, you could be a really, really muscular person and have the same BMI as mm. someone who has a lot of excess fat. Clearly, the person who has lean muscle mass is going to be much healthier than the person who has fat, but muscle is denser, so it weighs more than fat does. So the BRI, or body roundness index, takes that into account and it does it in two, one of two ways. And that is it does take into account height and weight, but it also includes a measurement of your waist circumference and your hip circumference. But the waist circumference is the one that's the most important mm. because that is an indirect measure of what we call visceral fat. <sighs> the word is, I, you know, we're going to be yeah, moving away yeah. from these words, yeah. but visceral fat, suffice it to say, is a major risk factor for heart disease. That fat that sits around your organs here is, uh, you know, a surrogate for cardiovascular disease. You hmm. can maybe give it a new name, like hip fat or well, something. Well, they're actually like also that. saying that body roundness index might also not be such a favorable uh, term, Right, okay. So let's have, what whatever. are the limitations to bo body roundness? Is it possible to have too low a BRI? So oh. what this study was interested in looking at was, could you sort of associate your number on the BRI index with an excess mortality? And they studied about 33,000 people over a 20 20-year period, and they found that your number, your BRI value, created what's called a U-curve, which means that if you were really low on the BRI, i.e. underweight, that is an indication of not good health and mm. malnourishment, there was excess mortality. And then at the other end of the extreme, if you were over a certain value on the BRI, there was obviously excess mortality also. And we know that this isn't novel necessarily, right? We understand that people who are very much underweight or very much overweight have a higher risk for mortality. Tell us how to keep that visceral fat in a healthy range. Okay, so first of all, what is a healthy range? Mm. So for men, it's less than or equal to 40 inches. Um, and for women, it's less than or equal to 35 inches. And that's a measurement, again, of your waist circumference. You can do that with a tape measure yourself. Um, it's a very simple a simple remediation, guys, it's just weight loss. So if you have excess stuff here, you can do as many abs and crunches and core exercises as you want. The only way to lose this is to lose weight unless you're doing something like liposuction and things like that. But remember, this visceral fat correlates with high triglycerides and insulin resistance and all these other things that we call part of the metabolic syndrome, which are known risk factors for heart disease. So it is a good thing, this BRI, because it takes it into consideration. Calculating it, you can't do it on your own, because mm. it has things called square roots and pi. <laughs> you will remember, do different, not try this at home. Different. So the BMI is easy, and that's a quick and dirty in the office. With the yeah. BRI, you actually need to plug it into a calculator. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.